what's going on beautiful people in today's project we're working on a beautiful pair of joseph genie shoes now as you can see these have got quite a little bit of sole separation all the stitches have broken at the front here and that's causing it all to separate so we're going to be redoing these with new leather midsoles new leather outer soles then we're going to be popping on a little vibram sole guard on the top just to protect all the leather and stitching once they're done all right guys without any further ado let's get these cracked open All right, so first, as usual, we're always going to start off by taking off the old top lift and the heel blocks. Okay, so that's all our soles off. Now we're just going to remove all the old stitches here. So we're just going to get our pliers and we're just going to pop out each stitch all the way full 360 degrees around this shoe and get it ready for the new stitching to sit inside. So we've just got a few more things to remove. We're just going to pop out the shank. And we're just going to remove some of this old cork actually coming off in one piece, which never ever happens. I'm gonna clean out all this area, we'll get it ready for some new cork, some glues, some soles, some stitches, some finish work, and then we'll be done. So without any further ado, let's get going.
All right, so that's our soles all trimmed, all to the contour of the shoe. Now for the next step up, we're gonna be roughing up the heel area for where our heel's gonna sit, and we're gonna rough up this top part where our half sole is gonna sit on top of this. The reason for doing it at this stage before we do the stitching is so that once we've done the stitching, we would then have to come and sand this. We have the potential of breaking the stitches, which we really don't wanna do. So we're gonna cut this, we're gonna sand it down, sand the heel, and we're gonna get a groove and some stitching. Let's go. Let's make sure we've got enough bobbin. Yep. Managed to hit all the original stitch holes on the welt there. That makes for such a nicer finish. So I'm just going to add in a couple of little small details just to give the shoes a little bit of a different characteristic for being plain and boring on the bottom here. So we're just going to score a little deep line on here. We're going to run our fudge tool over it and it will leave a slight pattern on the leather.
secure the heel blocks a little bit further. All right guys, so that's completely done with another project. These Joseph Cheneys came out super, super fresh and now they're ready for round two of their life. We stripped them right down, added in new leather midsoles, new leather outer soles, and then we've done our vibrant sole guards here just to protect the leather and stitching from any premature wear. And then on the heels, we've gone for the built-in segs again, just to help with any premature wear. So guys, as always, thank you so much for checking the videos out. You made it this far. You guys are legends, each and every one of you, mad respect for you. My name's Cobber G, I'm doing new videos all the time, so don't forget to hit that subscribe, drop me a like, hit a comment up below, all that good stuff. All right guys, so until the next one, I've been Cobber G, you've been legends. Peace out.